The Women's College World Series was flipped upside down right from the start when James Madison and Odyssey Alexander upset the top dogs number one Oklahoma in game one. This might have shocked the softball world, but not JMU. They knew what they were capable of. Here are the key ingredients to this JMU team that are the early breakout stars of this Women's College World Series. The first is obvious, Odyssey Alexander. She is the team's motor, their leader, and it is clear why when you watch her play. She combines talent with grit, composure, and a very strong presence. She not only throws with high velocity, but with a lot of movement, a great curveball, and what she calls the cries, her curve and rise combo that has developed so much this year. Nothing seems to phase her. No moment is too big. She just showed that and was able to contain the most dangerous offense in college softball. One of the first things she thought of after winning the biggest game of her life was to thank her pops. I love you guys and that was for you pops. Odyssey Alexander is the real deal. The next is run support and timely hitting. There have been a lot of teams in the past that have made it solely on the backs of a pitcher, but that's not JMU. The Duke's offense is second to only Oklahoma in scoring and slugging out of the teams in the Women's College World Series. The Dukes had less hits than the Sooners, but Sarah Jubis and Kate Gordon came up big in the right moments. Timely hitting got the job done. Lastly, this team knows how to win and they have composure. They have only lost two games this season. This is their first appearance in the Women's College World Series, first time playing in this kind of atmosphere. And on top of that, they played in front of a crowd completely dominated by OU fans that are so close to home. They had just one section of their fans and it didn't matter. Tiari Jennings hit the three run bomb to tie the game and they did not blink. So this JMU team, call it what you want. The underdogs, the Cinderella story, but they just beat the number one team in the country. They are a team amongst equals in the Women's College World Series, and they now advance to play Oklahoma State on Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN.